Were you surprised? Thought I was gonna walk around that way, didn't you? But today I'm changing things up. I popped out of underneath the table. So today we are making zero calorie honeycomb. Yeah, that's right. Because you guys really like the zero calorie marshmallows. I don't know if it's because you guys like marshmallows or if you guys like zero calorie sweet treats, but you guys really like the marshmallows video. So I have another zero calorie video for you guys. We are making zero calorie honeycomb and we're not gonna use honey because it's zero calories. So if you expected me to magically make honey zero calories in this video, sorry, this is the wrong video, but it is still gonna be delicious. It's still gonna be sweet. Oh, and also, if you don't mind, hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Let's jump right into the video. So the ingredients first, this is real sugar. If you put real sugar in a bowl and then you get rid of the packaging, just imagine it's zero calories, it becomes zero calories. So this is, I'm kidding, this is artificial sweetener. So I use erythritol because it's the best, but it's not just erythritol, it's erythritol plus monk fruit, which makes it a one-to-one -one sugar replacement because erythritol is 75% of sweet as sugar. And so you add monk fruit to the erythritol and then it gets to the same sweetness as regular sugar. That is why I'm using this. It is sweet and it does not have calories, unlike sugar, which is also sweet, but also has a lot of calories. And remember, the more fake sugar you have, the higher your tolerance becomes, the better your immunity becomes, the stronger your gut and stomach becomes. So like anyone who says these give you gut problems and gut issues, think about it the other way around. The more you have of this, the stronger your gut becomes to be able to handle this much artificial sweetener. So you're welcome. Do not listen to my advice. I am not a doctor and I do not know about gut health at all. The second ingredient is gonna be fat-free evaporated milk. So this is 25 calories for two tablespoons. If you use regular evaporated milk, it is 40 calories for two tablespoons. So that is not that much of a difference. And now I know what you're gonna say. Calories, this is not zero calorie anymore. Yeah, I know it's not gonna be zero calorie, but it's gonna be really close to zero. Like it's gonna be under five calories per serving and a serving is gonna be like a piece. I just wanted to make it clear right now that a whole batch is gonna be 38 calories. So just be aware. I'm not trying to mislead you. I'm not trying to lie to you and just give you calories and tell you they're zero calories so you don't have to worry about them. No, this is gonna have 38 calories, but each piece is gonna be under five calories and that's why it's gonna be zero calories. I hope that's okay with you. And the third ingredient is gonna be baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. If you're confused which one, soda is bubbly and honeycomb is bubbly. So that's why we use baking soda because it has the word soda in it and that soda is gonna make it bubbly. Food science. I studied it in college. I didn't. The next two ingredients are gonna be vanilla extract and salt. Do you need these? Absolutely not. Honeycomb is not vanilla flavored. It is not salty. These are optional, so I'm gonna put them over here. And those are all the ingredients. So the base recipe of this is a toffee. It requires the artificial sweetener and the evaporated milk. I got the recipe from a guy called Black Thor. I'm gonna link this video down below. He's a math teacher, which is pretty freaking cool because I studied math in college. Fun fact about me, but if you don't like math, just forget that I studied math in college and don't call me a nerd, sorry. 120 grams of sugar replacement, AKA erythritol, 45 grams of fat-free evaporated milk. That 45 grams is equal to three tablespoons and one and a half teaspoons, teaspoons, tablespoon, teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, which is equal to seven grams. 120, 45, seven. Just close your eyes, squeeze this in and stop when you want to, it is no big deal. And a pinch. I have, a, you know, a medium sized pinch and this thing, which is a pot, cause we're gonna cook this on the stove. Do not use a pot that's like really, really small because I made the mistake and this thing just exploded out of the pot. Things are gonna go in this pot right now. So the first thing that's gonna go in here is all of your sugar replacement. The second thing is gonna be your evaporated milk, 45 grams of this. It kind of tastes good. Every time I taste evaporated milk, I expect it to taste like sweet and condensed milk, which that stuff tastes real good and then it never does, but it's still pretty good. It's creamy. So I just take vanilla extract. However much that was, two squeezes works for me. And then salt, whatever this is, it's just a pinch, okay? That goes in. And now time to cook this on the stove. It's gonna go on a low-ish heat. So I have it on a three out of 10. And what we want is 
the sugar or the sugar replacement to melt and also the water in the evaporated milk to boil away and evaporate. We're gonna evaporate some evaporated milk and the evaporated milk, what I learned from Black Door's video is butter has milk in it, evaporated milk has milk in it and those milk solids are gonna brown and instead of using butter which has a lot of calories, we use evaporated milk to get that same effect. Thank you Black Thor. While that's on the heat, grab something and line it with parchment paper. You wanna have this ready so the honeycomb can get poured into this as soon as it's ready. Parchment paper please so it doesn't stick and since I do not have anybody to hold the parchment paper down and I don't have more than two hands. Fridge clips. I haven't stirred this yet. I'm just gonna give it a little shake, shake around. It smells so good. I promise you when you make this, your kitchen is gonna smell absolutely amazing. It smells like a glazed donut. That's what it smells like. You guys just saw how much it was bubbling. So now is when we stir. It smells like a freaking candy shop. It smells absolutely amazing. Please do not touch this. Do not taste it. Do not even touch this spoon. You will get burnt so bad. Scrape down the sides, scrape everything down, give it a good stir and back on the heat. So these shorts, five inches. What is your opinion on them? Too short or are they fine? Cause you know, I'm into them. I bought a few pairs. So even if you hate them, I already bought the shorts and I'm gonna wear them, but let me know down below. Yay or nay. Cause you know, thighs for the guys. Cause that's the only thing that rot. Thighs for the gal. That didn't work out so well. More bubbling, more stirring. And so the color is changing now. It was white before, cause the sugar is white. The evaporated milk is a little bit yellowish, but it's pretty much white. I would say it's tan. It's getting tan, it's a little bit golden. If you don't continue to stir frequently, the sugar that sticks to the bottom of the pan and the sides of the pan will get toasted and potentially burned. So keep an eye on it. Scrape down the sides, scrape the bottom, keep stirring. <clears throat> okay, I cooked it too long because I was trying to get a camera angle and everything and I left it bubbling for a little too long. So whatever you see here, don't leave it for that long. Just take it off a little bit sooner, but it's okay, it's gonna be fine. Shut your stove, we have to work quick. Take your baking soda, put it in, it's gonna bubble like crazy and then pour it right in here. Okay, ready? Let's go. And look at that, it's becoming white. It's becoming foamy. Stir, stir, and then pour it all in here. And once you pour it in, do not mess with it. This stuff is insanely hot, so be careful. Take this, move it to the side and just let it sit for two hours. And then we will break this. We will look at the honeycomb. We're gonna taste it. It is gonna be delicious. If you just wanna make toffee and you don't wanna add the baking soda, then all you have to do is when it's done cooking, don't add the baking soda. Just pour it into a flat baking dish and let it cool. It cools a lot quicker when it's flat and it turns into this. It's just pieces of toffee. It's so delicious. It's just crunchy, sweet candy. What is going on guys? I'm back. It is more than two hours later because it is 12.20. I broke into a little bit, took a bite. You see that? It just falls apart. Look at this texture. It literally looks like a beehive. No! It fell on the, no! Well, do you see this texture? Ready to break into it? I'm so excited, I love doing this part. Oh, I'm nervous, I, I always get nervous to do this. This whole thing is 38 calories. So every little chunk you bite off is under five calories, rounds down to zero. Like this is two calories, let's try it. Oh my God, there's something so different about the honeycomb. Like without the baking soda, you get this, those bubbles that are in the honeycomb are just so special. I just take this and break it into chunks. And then anytime I'm feeling a little snackish, I do that. I come in here and I grab a chunk of honeycomb. And this is a little darker than it usually happens because I cooked it for a little too long. If you like Greek yogurt, or if you like mixing protein powder and Greek yogurt, any sort of Greek yogurt bowls, this on top is delicious if you like Oatmeal, this crumbled in is so good and it kind of melts a little bit and 
It's so good. This on anabolic ice cream is delicious. It just adds a textural component where you get that crunchy bits in every bite and it's just so, so good. You know I like bubbles because I like diet soda because bubbles and this bubbles plus a marshmallow on top. You get that crunch and that softness from the marshmallow and the crunch from the honeycomb and you know what's up. What is going on guys? So I want to show you guys how I like to use the honeycomb to top off anabolic ice cream. So I'm going to make some salted caramel anabolic ice cream, which really just means find every single caramelly, salty thing in my house and throw it in this blender. Hope it turns into an anabolic ice cream and then top it off with this delicious honeycomb. If I'm not topping anabolic ice cream with it, I'm eating it as a snack because it's delicious. I'm going to go in with some almond milk. I'm gonna go with some salted caramel coffee syrup, which that reminds me, I think I want a cup of coffee, but it is 1.15 in the morning, so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee with this anabolic ice cream. Vanilla extract, caramel extract to just up that caramel flavor even more. I got salted caramel flavored whey protein from my protein and this stuff, this is probably the best my protein flavor that I found. But if you guys want me to buy a bunch of my protein flavors and review them for you guys and just break down a bunch of their protein powders, then let me know down below and I can do that for you guys. And some casein for that thickness, butterscotch pudding mix, cause I mean, butterscotch, caramel, salt caramel, it's in the same boat, right? They're, they're in the same boat, they're in the same kayak. We got honeycomb, toffee, caramel, butterscotch, They're all friends. The gums, I use xanthan gum and guar gum, but if you don't have these and you can just use chewing gum, take a stick of gum, throw it in, should be good. Don't do that. Oh, and some salt, cause this is salted caramel, right? So the salt, it's in the name. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Greek yogurt. It depends on the day. Sometimes I add this to anabolic ice cream. Most of the times I don't just cause acne. I do not have the Greek yogurt genetics. I wish I did, but I'm still gonna add it cause delicious. I love Greek yogurt, oh my God. I could eat this tub straight up. I could just sit there and go to town. Bunch of ice goes in here and I'm gonna blend it and then I'm gonna top it off with the honeycomb and show you guys what it looks like. Guys, I literally weighed out how much I used and that was five calories. Like, Insane, look at that. There's gonna be honeycomb in every single bite. Pro tip, I have a Dairy Queen spoon right here that I use to eat all my anabolic ice creams. I literally wash this thing and then use it over and over again just to eat my anabolic ice cream because it tastes so much better using this spoon than, I don't know, like a metal spoon. Is that weird? Let me know down below. That hit of toffee and it's just like, it's delicious. That big chunk, that hits different. And the honeycomb is great because it has so many holes in it. It kind of gets filled with anabolic ice cream. You just grab that little piece of honeycomb, soaked with ice cream, but it's still got that crunch. It maintains that crunch the entire time. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It means absolutely everything to me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. If you like this video, hit that like button and I will see you all in the next video.